Good morning. How about them, New York football giants? If you saw my video on Friday, this might be good news for the markets. It might be bad news for the markets. I don't really care. The Giants, Super Bowl champions. However, this isn't ESPN or SportsIllustrated.com. You're here for some market news. Greece continues to be in the headlines for all the wrong reasons. Maybe Eli Manning needs to be the head of Greece because he could steer them to a last-minute victory, snatching you know, from the jaws of defeat a potential default. It really is problematic that Greece still might be at risk of defaulting. We are two years, more than two years into the crisis. There is still no resolution in sight, concerns about another missed de deadline for Greece, and that is not good, especially when you consider that the market has had a strong year so far in 2012. And NASDAQ is up over 10%, down S&P 500 surging. A lot of this is on the expectation that Europe will find a solution for a debt crisis. Even look at National Bank of Greece. It's one of the few Greek stocks that trade in the U.S. The stock is up almost 75% this year. Granted, it's just a $3 and change stock, so you know it's from a low base. But there is a lot of speculative froth, I think, in this market right now. Everyone assumes that Greece isn't going to default. What happens if they do? Hopefully, we won't get to that, but there's got to be some resolution soon. Greece has to get its act together. The government needs to do more. The creditors and the Greek government really have to sit down and iron out an agreement. We can't let this go on any longer.